Welcome back guys. So I'm about 45 days out from realizing every dream I've had since the lady and I met. Moving to our ranch in the country. Um, we've got, I've got my new office set up. Check this out. Here's some, um, some footage I shot this morning. Of course, the first 30 minutes of my new office, I'm checking game camera photos for uh, the previous video to see what's digging holes in the pasture. But nonetheless, you know, it feels good. Things are coming together. If you know me, you know I've always got a plan. And if you watch our channel, you know my plans normally go to sh <laughs> And that's kind of what happened. I wanna let you in on a little secret. So stick with me, I'm gonna walk you through it. My God, I'm not even, I, I don't even know where to start. I'm so tired. But why, why, why is all this craziness happening right now? Okay, as I shared earlier, we're about 45 days out from the move, right? Moving here full time. Lady, Chloe, me, ranch house, ranch, cows, grass, happy. No suburban hell, I'm done, right? And uh, we've got everything in place. We're on the one yard line. Our dreams are right here. But when that opportunity arises, you have to jump on it because if you don't, you may never get it again. So like I said, if you watch the channel, normally when you get to that one yard line and you're executing a plan, something happens and <clears throat> yeah, that's what happened, but in a good way. <laughs> that is what we do. So when you're going from a, a larger house to a smaller house, which no problem with that. I like a smaller house. So does the lady. They're easy to clean, easy to maintain. They're, you can fully customize them, but it gets tight and very, you get, it's just tight. You know, you don't want to be intimate with everybody in the space and your dogs and a cat. There's, Chloe has like a 40 pound Maine Coon cat. It's like a wild animal that lives in, in the house. And um, your daughter, right? 18 years old, wants her own space, or ours doesn't want her own space, but we feel like she should have her own space. So we're trying to figure out how we're gonna manage all of that and satisfaction with life as we transition here. And um, one of those once in a lifetime things fell in our lap less than a week ago. And I happened to drive past this lady's house. She has an amazing 1800s house that she has fully restored um, it, with all the historic details. It's really, really cool. But she also had a 1966 b &O Railroad caboose. Hmm. Train car, that's cool. I don't care who you are, it's cool. Um, some people have said it's redneck, but they still think it's cool, even if it is a little redneck. So I shot a photo, um, sent it over to Lady, and Lady shot me a note back and said, hey, you can read the phone number. <laughs> so naturally, I'm on the road, I don't have anything else to do, so I called the Lady, um, Charlie's her name, she is this eccentric woman who restores historic homes for a living, and she is selling everything and moving to Colorado, which I get it as we roll into summer in Central Texas. It's 88 now to be 108 in like a month. But long story short, check this out. This is what we bought. You can't buy this, 1966. B&O Railroad caboose. The inside is finished out, you know, unlike anything I've ever seen. She took the water tanks and baffles and turned them into a cabinet above a bar with a full kitchen. It's a one bed, one bath suite. I think it's 250-ish square feet. Nice finishes, you know, hammered steel tub, looks like copper. Um, it is just, awesome so that solves a problem a big problem um, it gives us more square footage for the house without having to build on 
Tax man, can't touch me, that thing's on wheels. So we will be laying tracks on this place, hence removal of the cow corral and moving it somewhere else now because that is where we want the caboose to go. Near the, near the, the, uh, the main house, not far from the tracks, right next to Buzzard Barn, across sort of a U-shaped area for the house. But um, this is going to be Chloe's house. It's totally appropriate. She, um, not only is she just an eccentric human to begin with, but can't buy this. Completely awesome. You gotta stick with me. I've already got with the electricians. We're, we're going to have it wired up. We, it's already wired up internally. Everything is on point. It's sound. It just needs to be hooked in here. Water, I just capped off the water line. The water that was going to Cal's will now go to our daughter instead. The uh, septic, my septic guys can drop in a 300 gallon tank in the ground behind the caboose with a pump to pump it uphill about 15 yards to that other main tank that we put in less than a year ago. So that will all be set. I have to have that caboose out of there inside of 40 days because she's selling her house and her property. That won't be her property. My, my caboose can't be sitting on someone else's property. So I've got a trucking company, a crane company. It's gonna take two trucks, a crane to lift the 60,000 ton train car <laughs> and uh, truck it down here, put it on my property. I've got to install the tracks, but first I've got to build a pad because that is anything but level. It is not level. I've got my cow corral sitting there, sitting on concrete blocks to try to make it somewhat level. Um, yeah, man, I got my work cut out for me. So uh, this video, I just wanted to show you something really cool that we're excited about. You know, hopefully if, if you're into the tiny house thing or eccentric places, you know, this might be interesting. You know, who converts a train car to a house? Um, I am really, really excited to show you guys how this shakes out. That it's not going to go smoothly. <laughs> but, very interesting story. You know what? That, at least you have the foresight to say this isn't going to go well. No, it's this not. is it's going to cost twice as much, and it's going to take twice as long, yep. and we're going to have problems that we don't even know exist. Exactly. Like, stay tuned. I don't know if this is going to be a series of videos or if it's going to be one big comprehensive video, but I do want to take you with us on this 45-day crazy journey. Whew. So stick with me. Thank you again for supporting the channel. I hope you'll stick around. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I would love to share this with you because it will be interesting. I've never seen a crane put a train car on a truck and drop it on a ranch. So maybe it's new for you too. I don't know. So that's all I've got today. Uh, thank you again for stopping by. We'll see you next time.